The overall goal of this procedure is to construct, produce, and purify canine adenovirus type 2 derived vectors. This is accomplished by first cloning the gene of interest into a shuttle plasmid. The second step is to obtain a recombinant genomic plasmid by homologous recombination. Next, the recombinant defective CAV2 virus is produced and amplified in a trans-complementing cell line. The final step is to purify and concentrate the resulting recombinant virus for diverse applications in vivo and in vitro. Ultimately, immunofluorescence confocal microscopy is used to show examples of viral transduction in the rodent brain. The main advantage of these techniques over existing methods, such as vectors derived from human adenoviruses, is that there is no pre-existing immunity against CAF2 in human populations. So this method can help answer key questions in the vaccination or gene therapy fields, such as assessing the role of proteins expressed in specific brain areas. So demonstrating this procedure will be Marion Selichowski and Corinne Bergeron, two postdoctoral researchers from our laboratories. Prepare for this procedure one day prior to transfection by seeding DKE1 cells on a six-well plate. Grow cells at 37 degrees Celsius and 5% CO2 in DMEM with high glucose containing 7% heat enough.